my name is James Gasson and this is Brickhouse Recording Studio. It's a studio that I've spent a couple of years putting together uh, using techniques and practices that I've learned throughout my time uh, working as a sound engineer in various studios um, and also from my music production degree. features of the studio are designed and built to a very particular specification um, which includes acoustic absorbers, um, diffusers, um, various preamps, some of which are modelled on uh, classic Neve designs. Um, if you've seen Dave Grohl's Sound City documentary then you should be very familiar with that. Um, and also various microphones, uh, which were designed specifically for capturing room ambience, um, which is a particular concern for the drum kit. Um, now the recording of a drum kit is something in particular that I've spent many years honing through study and experiment. Um, I'm a big fan of Steve Albini, who you might know has recorded Nirvana and the Pixies and PJ Harvey and many many others um, and he is someone who is renowned for producing a very powerful and very realistic drum sound um, and so a few years ago I undertook an internship at his studio in Chicago um, a place called Electrical Audio um, and I studied his recording techniques and experimented with the great analog equipment they have there and when I returned home, I continued to practice these techniques and refine them through experiment and further study. And so this studio really is the culmination of that learning. You know, it's a facility of my own in which I can implement these techniques unhindered by others who favor more generic practices. As far as my background is concerned, um, I am myself a musician and a songwriter. I play guitar and bass and drums, uh, and I'm also a vocalist. Uh, my foray into sound recording came because I, I never quite trusted uh, any engineer to deliver the sound that I wanted. Um, and so I studied sound engineering and music production basically out of necessity. Um, because I cared so much about the music that I was making, I wanted to be totally sure that I could make it exactly the way that I wanted, you know. But but in doing so, um, I found myself more and more fulfilling the role of engineer to other bands, and actually finding that because we we're all of the same ilk, which is to say we were all struggling musicians and artists together in the same boat, um, I felt an affinity with them and could totally empathise with their creative plight. And I think because of this, bands actually enjoy working with me because I don't elevate myself to the role of artistic producer who strives to take control of a session, you know. Um, rather, I have an approach of understanding and facilitating what it is the band wants to do. I think it's presumptuous and misguided uh, for any engineer to try and stand in the way of a band's artistic vision. Um, I know for myself how frustrating that is, and so I don't do it. You know, I'm happy to have as much or as little creative involvement as the band wants me to have. Um, but other than this, my role is purely of a technical capacity to facilitate the band's goals. You know, that's why, in my opinion, the best engineer a band can work with is one who totally understands and empathises with what the band is doing. Um, I struggle to get my head around any engineer who has not been in that position himself and who doesn't know what that feels like. You know, if you want to encourage a good performance from, say, a drummer, um, then you should yourself have felt the pressure of sitting at a kit decorated with microphones and how much internal pressure is involved in trying to get the perfect take in that situation. And if you don't truly understand that feeling, then I, I don't see how you can have the techniques to diffuse it. 
Likewise, I think if you've never felt the heartbreak of taking home a recording of a song that you've poured so much blood and sweat and tears into only to discover that it sounds awful, then how can you truly understand how your work is likely to affect the bands that are hiring you? You know, I think an engineer is not in a privileged position of knowing what is best for the band, but rather they are serving the band and therefore dedicated to making sure their expectations are met. That's all I ever wanted as an artist. An engineer, an engineer should be someone who gets the band, who would be mates with them, who would be at their gigs. These things are so much more important than showing off your fancy new equipment or talking endlessly about which recording system is better. These things are irrelevant, and, and that is evidenced by the fact that even studios who boast a dazzling array of expensive top-end equipment still have bad recordings coming out of them, you know. I think it's the shared experience and, and, and the passion and, and the empathy that makes a recording, and without this, not even a thousand Neumann microphones stacked on top of the most pristine of Neve mixing desks is going to save you. As far as I'm concerned, we're all in this thing together and we all know how difficult a creative path is and we all know how life consuming it is, you know, and, and we all know how passionate we are about doing it. That's why I built this studio and that is why I look forward to working here with you.